Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to tell you briefly something about prenatal genetic tests. I'm going to try to cover in five points what is that test, what it tests for, what you can expect to see in your report, how it's being done, the cost. At the end of this video I'm going to show you a copy of my report and also I'm going to tell you who you're supposed to contact, just basic things, what you need to know about the test. What is that test? It is a non-invasive prenatal screening test. How it's being done. It, they take your blood. They have to take mother's blood. They took my blood. They're going to take a lot of it, like four vials. So be prepared to have a lot of bloods drawn. And afterwards, you may feel weak and you may have to ask someone to drive you. Timing. When can you get tested? When can you take this test? Basically, you can take it as early as nine weeks, zero days of pregnancy. However, your doctor may advise you to take take it later, like 10 weeks or maybe even 11 weeks of your pregnancy. And I'll tell you why. First of all, the test may come back inconclusive because what they do when they take your blood, they look for baby's DNA, like fragments of baby's DNA in your blood. And it's just very difficult to find it. So there's one thing you need to know. If you're super skinny, you may take it earlier, like nine weeks. If you are on a heavier side, I would recommend you waiting a little bit longer simply because Sometimes it's harder to find baby's DNA if you are heavier. So if your doctor calls you back and tells you that your test is inconclusive or inaccurate, don't freak out. Just repeat the test a little bit later. Just wait until week 10 or 11 and then take the test again. So next you may ask why get tested? What's being tested? So basically as I mentioned, they take your blood and they look for your baby's DNA just to see if there is any abnormalities. They're going to look at your baby's chromosomes and just see if there is any abnormalities, specifically trisomy. So they're going to look at chromosome uh, 21 for Down syndrome, 18 for Edwards, and chromosome 13 from, for Pato, I believe, syndrome. And when they complete your test, they're going to tell you if your baby's at risk. It could be a low risk or it could be a high risk. So they'll give you chances, like your baby may have 1 in 10,000 chances to have a Down syndrome. So it's probably a low risk, but if they'll tell you your baby has one in four, then your baby may be at higher risk. But they will not tell you definitely your baby will have this or some other um, disorder. So they're just gonna give you like risks, level of your risks. Next, how long do you have to wait impatiently for your results, results of the test? It is usually from 10 to 14 business days. Okay, on my last test, I had my blood taken on the 10th, and then on, on the 18th, the doctor called me with the results. What are you gonna get? Like I said, you're gonna get risks, but also you may have a gender of your baby. It is probably the most accurate test, more accurate than ultrasound, uh, because they look at your baby's DNA and chromosomes so they can easily tell if you're gonna have a boy or a girl. And trust me, trust them, don't trust me, trust them when they tell you're gonna have a boy or a girl. Of course, it's optional if you choose not to not to have that information available, they will not tell you. However, when I was pregnant with my son and I had panorama test, I waited a little bit over two weeks. I was like freaking out because it was taking so long. So I called my doctor and then I asked. So it was like past two weeks and the results were not there. Um, so I had to wait, I think, one or two additional days. Keep in mind that your doctor may give you information, but if you call directly Natera or Maternity 21 Plus, they may not give you results simply because you are patient, you're your doctor's patient, but the doctor orders the test. So basically the doctor is their client. They may give you results if the doctor allows them to release the results, that's okay. But if you call them directly, don't be offended if they will tell you, no, we cannot give you the results. Just call your doctor. I think you're in best position when you call your doctor directly and just keep bugging them if you know it's been already past two weeks. All right, guys. Cost, how much it costs. It is an expensive test. I mean, look at this. This is my bill. They billed me $3,900. Uh, they billed my insurance, actually. Um, I didn't pay that much. Insurance covered most of it. So it's it really depends on your insurance coverage, insurance company, how much they will cover. If you don't have insurance, you're probably going to have to pay by yourself. But call them up directly and ask them how much you can pay out of pocket if you're paying for it directly, they may be able to accommodate you differently and give you a different fee. Um, quick story, when I was tested with my daughter six 
and a half years ago, I believe, um, uh, it was maternity 21 then. Um, it was a brand new test, and they told me if my insurance company does not cover it, I will be responsible only for like, I don't know, like a few hundred dollars. Keep in mind, if you're younger, if you're below, I don't know, like 30 or 35, the insurance company may not even want to cover it because basically the older you get, then your risks are much higher. So that's also a factor. If you've been watching this video, I promise to show you the copy of my report, my latest report. So this is it. I had panorama tests by Natera. On top, you have my personal information, my doctor's information. And also you have the gender. So if you don't want to have your gender revealed, I don't know, just don't look at the report, ask your doctor. Below that, you can see information regarding risks uh, for certain abnormalities. For example, Down syndrome. It will show you what was my risk. It will show you what was your risk before the test was taken. And then it will show you the risks. What is your risk right now after the test? So the older you get, the risks are higher. But whatever you get, don't think of it as a conclusive test. It's just a screening test. It's going to tell you your risks, high or low. And even if you're at high risk, just don't assume that your baby will definitely going to be sick. Talk to your doctor and discuss what it means. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I had this test taken three times with my daughter, with my son, now with this one. The first one I had was maternity 21, then I had Natera, and this time I also had Natera, Panorama, I should say Panorama, and uh, Natera does the, uh, does the testing. But let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully I'll be able to help you out and answer your questions. If you like the video, give me thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.